Friday, before Saturday's shooting, and then yesterday he was here again during the attack. I asked him what he saw when the shooting started. I heard the first shot, and 1.7 seconds after that, I looked up, 0 0.6 seconds, another shot, and he was just shooting people. Was he just randomly targeting people, you think? Just shooting um, anybody? Yes, he was randomly shooting people outside. And then I seen the security guy run in. When I saw the security guy run in, I was like, well, this ain't no movie, this is for real. And then he went in, shooting, shooting more people. And I still see it in my head that this guy was actually just shooting at people standing there. It's crazy, it is crazy. It's crazy, a guy was just shooting at people. He, he targeted black people. Yes. He killed almost everybody. Tell me where you were when you saw him. I saw him walking through the exit door. And here at the tops. Here at tops on Friday. And I said, he looks he look out of place. He looks out of place. And I walked up to him and I said, where are you from? He said two or three hours from now. Then we started talking about race. And I was like, well, there's only one race. He said, like, well, he didn't say he disagreed, but he said he feels that there's different races. What did you think of him in that moment? If you ask me right now, that kid that I met on Friday wasn't racist. Not the kid I met on Friday. But super smart. Super smart. He had a plan, obviously. You must have a mix of emotions, right? About I mean, um, you, you could have been there. Very easily. Five minutes earlier, you would have been there. One minute and twenty seconds. I just walked across the street. I just opened up my thing. Bang! 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 He also told me we need to make some changes in this country.